Jelly Bean Story Page, The Great Camping Adventure, A Family to Remember. One summer, five brothers and five sisters, Lucas, Ethan, Jake, Noah, Liam, Emma, Lily, Sophia, Grace, and Ava, set out on a grand adventure with their grandpa and grandma. The destination? A beautiful forest by a sparkling lake, where the trees whispered in the breeze and the stars seemed close enough to touch. As soon as they arrived, the kids raced out of the van, eager to explore. Grandpa, with his wide-brimmed hat and walking stick, gathered everyone around the campfire pit. All right, team, he called out. We've got a lot of fun ahead, fishing, hiking, canoeing, and more. But first, let's set up camp. The kids worked together to pitch tents, unroll sleeping bags, and organize the campsite. Grandma had already packed everything they needed for an amazing feast later, and she smiled warmly as she watched the teamwork unfold. Evening fun begins. As the sun dipped below the horizon, the family gathered around the crackling campfire. Grandpa pulled out his old harmonica and played a cheerful tune, and before long, everyone was singing campfire songs. Their voices rang out through the trees. This land is your land. This land is my land. The kids clapped their hands and stomped their feet to the rhythm, giggling when Grandpa switched the lyrics to something silly. When the stars began twinkling above, it was time for ghost stories. Grandpa's voice grew low and mysterious as he told a tale about a mysterious figure who roamed the forest at night. The kids huddled closer to the fire, clutching their marshmallow sticks as they listened wide-eyed. Just when the story reached its scariest part, Grandma jumped up with a playful, Boo! sending the kids into peals of laughter. Grandpa's Adventure Day The next morning, after a hearty breakfast, Grandpa led the way down a winding trail for a day full of outdoor adventures. First up was fishing by the lake. With his guidance, Lucas and Emma were the first to catch fish, and soon everyone was competing to see who could catch the biggest one. Grandpa showed them how to paddle quietly in the canoe, gliding across the calm waters. The breeze was cool, and they saw turtles sunning themselves on rocks and birds soaring high above. Afterward, they took a hike through the forest. Grandpa pointed out different plants and showed them animal tracks in the mud. They even found a hidden waterfall where the kids splashed and played, feeling like real explorers. Grandma's Campfire Feast Back at camp, Grandma was ready for her part of the fun. Gather round, she called. It's time to make s'mores and roast hot dogs on sticks. The kids quickly found their spots by the fire, eagerly holding out marshmallows to toast until they were golden brown and a bit burnt for those who liked them crispy. As they sandwiched the gooey marshmallows between chocolate and graham crackers, Grandma shared stories of camping trips she'd taken when she was young. The smell of roasting hot dogs filled the air, and everyone enjoyed their meal, laughing and talking as the sun set. A perfect ending. As the evening drew to a close, the family gathered one last time around the campfire. Grandpa played another tune on his harmonica, and Grandma started singing a lullaby that she used to sing to the kids when they were babies. Everyone joined in, their voices blending softly with the night sounds of crickets and rustling leaves. Finally, as the fire died down, Grandpa stood up and said, You know, this trip wasn't just about the fishing or the hiking. It was about us being together, making memories we'll always carry with us. The kids all agreed as they huddled in for a big family hug, feeling the warmth of not just the fire, but the love they all shared. With tired eyes and full hearts, they crawled into their tents, drifting off to sleep with dreams of more adventures to come. The end of the story leaves a sweet memory of family bonding and the simple joys of camping. Let me know if you'd like any tweaks or additional details.